to my bilateral body glitz, pretzel and outer thigh focus. For today's workout, I'm going to be using a exercise mat and a stability ball. The stability ball is really only to help you get your form right and to help you get the most out of especially the pretzel exercise. So you can do this workout without if you prefer. I'm going to be pushing my ball up against the wall just to get a little bit of extra resistance, but you can also do this with the ball away from the wall, just holding it with your hand. I'll demonstrate both so that you can see what I mean. So the setup is crucial with this workout. It's a very targeted focus, so you're not going to be doing a warm-up. If you need to do a warm-up, please just head over to the YouTube channel and use the warm-up there. And then what we're going to do is set up with the ball against your wall, and I want you to either choose a position where your leg is in like this and the other one is in an L shape. So it's as if you're facing this way and your leg is directly in front of you and this leg is directly out to the side or even slightly behind you. So you can either use this position, but if it's a bit uncomfortable to bend this leg so tightly against you, you can also bring the leg out in a more traditional pretzel style where it is at 90 degrees to the end of your mat in which case you would need to put the ball on this side of your leg. So what we're doing with the ball is pressing our hip into it. So I'm going to choose this position, put the ball in place and scoot right up against the ball so that when I am in the pretzel, I can squeeze and you can see I'm pushing my hip against the ball and that is going to increase my squeeze and hold my leg in that position so that I don't drift further and further forward, which is quite common as it starts to fatigue. Okay, so make sure you're setting up like this. Really scoot against that ball so you can feel, you can take your hand away and you can feel that there's an impression on that ball. And then all we're doing to start with is just squeezing your hip against the ball. So make sure you're nice and forward with your chest. You can rest your hand on the ball and you're just squeezing that hip against the ball. Okay, so you're making a fist out of your glute. That other foot is just on the ground for now. Relaxing into it and squeezing. Really focusing on making a fist out of that top portion of the glute each time. Getting used to that feeling of pushing against the ball. Keep going, you're just warming everything up. Pushing hard. Try to push and then not release all the way. So it's a, it's a squeeze, release a tiny bit and then squeeze again. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to lift the leg up. So you're going to be just slightly off the ground. You might need to lean out of it a little bit and squeeze against the ball with your leg up. So you're not touching the floor this time. You're just keeping it up, hovering above the mat, and a tiny little focus, push, push. So just find the position that works for you. You might have to continually adjust the ball so that you really feel it. Your whole hip and top of your thigh should be pushing against that ball. Keep going. The further you lean out of it towards the back, the easier it is because you're going to be engaging less of your obliques. So if you're finding it really tough, you can even go all the way down onto your elbow. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to lift up. Push against it, go down again, push against it. So we're not actually touching the ground. We're just running our thigh up and down that ball and squeezing in each time. So it's higher squeeze, lower squeeze. Squeeze and squeeze. Really push. You should be changing the shape of that ball every time you push in with that leg. Push and push, push and push. Trying to raise that leg up as one unit. I know you feel it's gonna drop a little bit, but keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Now stay halfway, push in, extend and bend. 
extend and bend. Make sure your knee is still facing towards the wall. Don't let it face up to the ceiling. And you might need to lean out of it a little bit more here. So you're really pushing against that wall and using it as a pivot point, just moving the bottom portion of your leg, squeezing in towards your glutes with your heel every time to engage a bit more of that hamstring. Keep going. Back and extend. Really squeeze your leg, your quad, in front of your, the front of your thigh as you extend. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to tap down, then tap up onto the ball. It's down and up. You're keeping your knee facing the side wall. It might be a little bit uncomfortable, it might be a little bit difficult to go up as far as you can. If you can get all the way to the top, great. The focus is to keep your outer thigh turned up to the ceiling as much as you can. Okay, so try not to let that knee turn up. It will a little bit, but fight against that. Down and up. Down and up. For eight and up. Seven. Six. Five. Just four. Three, two, and one. Now we're just going to do a combination. So press your knee against it again. Extend, extend, up and down. Bend, extend, over and down. It's like you're running your thigh over that ball, but you're not actually resting weight on it. Up and down. Bend, extend, up and down. A few more of these and then we're moving on to the other side. Bend, extend, up and down. Two more. Really extend long. Point that toe. Last one. Up and down. Great job. We're just going to stretch that a little bit. So bring your legs together and just stretch your hip up. Try to lengthen out through that hip flexor. Great job. And then just bring your legs over to the other side and just release through that oblique hip area. And we're moving on to the other side. Now because I don't have a wall on this side, I'm going to do it without the wall. So in this case, I'm going to be setting it up so that my leg is parallel to the edge of the mat. I'm putting the ball in between so that I'm anchoring it with my leg and with my hand. And this other leg is behind at hip, at hip level. So you can go further back, but you need to keep it at such a level so you can put pressure on that ball. So getting your positioning right, facing your head and start squeezing in on that ball. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So you can see I'm pushing my hip into the ball, trying to change the shape of that ball every time. Squeezing my glutes, really making a fist out of that top portion. And use your front leg to bring that ball in tighter so that you can really feel the intensity of that ball pushing against the hip. Keep it in place with your hand and just push, push. Just getting used to that movement on the other side. Hold your tummies in, that will help to support your back, keep your upper body relaxed, shoulders are down, and just push into it. All the way. And squeeze and then don't release all the way. It's like you're still holding a little bit of squeeze even on the out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, now we're doing the same thing, but we're lifting the legs. So lean out of it a bit and squeeze in, in. Really squeezing. Try to keep that leg up in one horizontal plane. So keep your foot up as high as you can and then press in. Make sure that the ball is in such a position that you still get your whole hip against it. Don't just push your knee against it. Hug it right into your body. And push, push, 
It might feel a little bit awkward, but it's a really good way to keep that leg back. Keep squeezing. Breathe through it. All the way in. So once again, not releasing fully. It's in and a little release and in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're doing that tap, 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 tap. So really hold it in place. So you're pressing, sliding that leg up and down the ball and pushing in each time. Squeeze, squeeze, push, push. Should be burning all through the hip flexor area and that hip area. Squeeze, squeeze, all the way. Breathe through it. The more you lean away, the easier this is. So if you're finding that there's too much lactic acid build up, then just lean further away. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to extend and bend. So keep it approximately halfway up the ball and really extend long, straightening out behind the knee. Very important to get that long extension and keep that ball in so you're still really creating an indent on that ball. It's extend, bend, extend. As you bring it in, think about squeezing your hamstrings, bringing that heel close to your glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Now hold that leg out. We're going to tap the floor. Go above and down. Above and down. Keep your knee facing over there. So don't let it face up to the ceiling. Keep your leg really straight. And you're just grazing that ball with your thigh. And down. And down. It's just a marker so that you can go higher and you can keep your leg back in line with that hip. Up and down. Keep breathing. Don't slouch through the shoulders. Keep your neck long. And down. Five and down. Four. Three. Two. One. Now we're going back to that bend, extend and adding it on. So bend, extend, up, down. Bend, extend, over, down. You're not coming all the way down. You're still hovering that leg. Bend, extend, over, down. Push into the ball here. Over, down. Last exercise in this position and then we're changing it. Keep going. Three more sets. You can do it. Up and down. Really squeeze. Two and down. And last set. Up and down. Awesome job. So coming into that position to stretch. Just push up through your hips. Lengthening out through that hip flexor. Really nice. Come down and just bring your legs to one side. And we're just going to reach over and stretch out the sides here. Great job. Now I'm going to move my mat around so that you can see my legs better, but you can stay front onto me. So we're going to be lying down with our back against the mat and just down on your elbow, okay? So imagine you're making a straight line with your back and your legs against the mat. This ball is just going to be a guide for this series, okay? So, just bring it in line with your knees and we're just going to bring our leg up, down and up, down and up. If you want to bend the bottom leg, you can. In which case, keep going, it would look like this. That means you can bring the ball slightly more in line with your body, so slightly more central. 
but it is harder to keep that bottom leg extended simply because you're going to be using your abs in order to support you and keep you in this position and you're also using that lower leg really tensing it so as you can see here my knees pa uh, pointed towards the wall it's not going up to the ceiling it's out of thighs I'm using this ball as a gauge so that I know I'm keeping my leg nice and high keep going keep going eight seven six five four three two one now we are all going to bend our bottom leg because we need a bit of room we're going to come down tap front tap over the ball you're going to have to hang on to that ball with your hand the other thing you can do if you'd rather not have the ball mobile is get two small hand weights on either side of the base that way you'll have your hand free but this works just as well Keep your knee facing to the front of the room. Don't let it turn up to the ceiling. This is actually a little bit easier because it's a large range of motion. So you need to squeeze. Squeeze that leg, keeping it really straight. Squeeze that hip, make sure your hips are stacked. Don't let your hips turn up to the ceiling. You won't feel it. So it's a, I'm looking at you because I am trying to instruct but if you can look away so look to the front of the room in line with your hands so that you're keeping your hips stuck look down at your hips are they on top of each other eight seven six five four three two one stay in front and it's up and up if you want bring that ball in line with the knee it's up and up don't even let it touch the ball keep your hips stacked it's on an angle 45 degrees up and up up and up tiny pulses your legs are locked out behind the knee don't slouch in your shoulders keep going I know it burns I know it burns but that's okay it's lactic acid five four three two one awesome job come to the back and flex your foot and we're going to go forward and down with a flexed foot you're kicking forward and down over that ball so you're actually kicking as far forward as you can forward and down with a flexed foot so your foot not just your heel but your whole side of your foot is coming down keep going second to last exercise and we're switching sides this is an easier one again you can do this kick forward eight seven six five four three two one now bring it in and it's a bend press bend press I'm going to turn so you can see what I'm doing it's in towards your shoulders and press out over that ball bend press press you're trying to keep your knee to the front you're just using that ball to keep your leg high don't let it drop press press come in and then press out on that diagonal as if you're pushing a heavy cement block away this is the last exercise and so make the most of it go keep your leg up 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 you're pushing you're pushing away with that flexed foot go for eight and seven six and five just four three two one bonus hold just hold it up there make sure it's still high just hold it hold it let it shape keep going eight seven six five four three two one great job ah oh, just sit into that hip for a second roll away and we're going to switch sides sitting into that right 
So switching sides. Once again, starting in that position with your body lined up with your mat, nice and upright through your neck. And that ball is in line with your knees. And you're just gonna go up and down. So really focusing on your hips being nice and stacked here. So as I said, if you want, you can bring your leg up like this. Full range of motion. Look straight ahead. Hold your tummies in. But if you can keep your leg out, it will make it slightly harder. Up and down. Keep going. Have to heat up this leg. Had a nice break for a second there, so get back into it. Think out of thigh. Think about really engaging and squeezing that outer thigh hip area. All the way. Keep your knee to the front. Don't let it face up to the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now everyone bend that leg and it's down and down. So remember, you're gonna have to move your arm each time unless you have your ball anchored with the weights. It's down and down. Semi-circle with those toes. Your knees are still pointing towards the front of the room. Lock out behind the knee. Down and down. Nice and upright through the upper body. Down and down. Lots of reps here. Last little burnout. Keep going. Squeeze that hip. Make sure they're stacked. Don't start turning out towards the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now come back across and this time your leg is in line above the other knee and we're gonna pulse it up. So just keep the ball there and don't even touch the ball. Keep it up high. Look straight ahead so you can see your hips are stacked. Make sure they are and keep going. Keep your leg up. Just squeeze through that thigh, really lengthen out. Up and up, it's up and up. Burning out that outer thigh. One last time. Keep going, pulsing it high. Breathing through it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come back and flex your foot Touch down your full foot, then kick to the front and down. It's kick over the ball. But remembering to keep your outer thigh facing the ceiling each time. Don't turn your knee up. It's kick over the ball and towards your chest. Kick forward and down. Each time you're placing your whole side of the foot on the ground and you're keeping your foot really, really flexed here. All the way forward forward. This is the second to last exercise. So make sure you really give it all you've got. Squeeze your quads to keep your legs super straight. Forward. Up. All the way up. As high as you can, but keeping those hips from turning out to the ceiling. Forward. Forward. Cross. All the way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna bend in and press. So you decide where you want your hand to be. Just make sure you're coming all the way in and then pressing out on that 45 degree angle with your foot really flexed 
in and press and squeeze. Squeeze your other thigh, squeeze your glutes, squeeze there, keep your hips stacked, squeeze, squeeze. Just focus one last time. Bring your knee in all the way to the chest. Try to turn your heel up to the ceiling. You'll feel it more. Last exercise. Really keep going and squeezing as hard as you can. Get the last few bonus sculpting exercises in. Last few reps. Keep going for four. Whoops, my ball's going walkabout. Two, one, now hold it. Keep it up there, hold it. See how I'm not touching that ball. Keep it up, let it shake. Let it shake, lengthen it. Keep it up, don't let it touch. Keep going. Breathe through it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great job. Ouch, that hurt. Sitting into that mermaid. Ah, and stretching over to the side. Ah, poor glutes. And then just coming into a pigeon pose where you're bringing that leg in line and you're stretching the other one behind you. That should really, really, really feel sore, but in a nice way. If you want to come down, you can. Oh. And then just bring that leg in front and leg across and into your chest, stretching it out even more. Really felt those glutes and outer thighs and into the chest with the other side. And then into that pigeon pose, stretch the other leg behind, sit on top of that so it's really nice and aligned. Come down as low as you want to feel that stretch more. And last thing to loosen out, just bring the soles of your feet together and open up, letting all of that loosen. Ah, and that's it. You've completed the pretzel and outer thigh focus. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to working out with you again soon.